here as they look at the Dragon capsule making its way towards the International Space Station, 150 meters away now. Station and uh, Dragon are 260 miles above Mongolia at the moment and heading uh, northeast towards the border of Russia. And again, uh, Dragon just 150 meters away from the space station now. It's scheduled to be within 100 meters at 5.13 a.m. Central. From there, the teams here on the ground will take a go no-go poll to determine if it has a, if it is a safe to move within 100 feet. And uh, assuming that is as expected, the crew there inside the cupola of the space station monitoring the, the Dragon's approach. Assuming everything does continue to go as planned, the uh, Dragon will get the go-ahead to depart from that 100-foot uh, uh, or 30-meter circle at 5.39 a.m. Central Time. Continuing to see a good view of Dragon here as uh, the space station and Dragon move into the dark portion of this orbit around the Earth. They're just coming up on the sunset for this orbit. Uh, Dragon now about 75 meters away from the space station, or about 250 feet. And continuing to move into that 30 meter point where there will be a hold while the team on the ground assess the situation and make sure everything looks safe to go ahead and move in closer for the uh, capture scheduled at 6.14 a.m. Houston, uh, we see the, mo the vehicle mode and approach primary and secondary range, both about 28 and a half meters. And uh, the um, white strobe is well within the crew aboard corridors on both displays. The vehicle size is pretty much the same as the vehicle outline. The white strobe position relative to the white strobe or the strobe tracker in camera three, the white strobe is aft and port, I'm sorry, forward and port tracker. And on the camera nine, looks like the white strobe is inside or right on the edge of the strobe tracker. Copy that. Good words. And by the way, guys, we have the camera view of you and you look strikingly handsome this morning. Okay, Koichi says thank you. Space Station and Dragon are about 260 miles above the South Atlantic Ocean now, having just passed over southern tips of Chile and Argentina and moving in, as you can see, to the daytime portion of this orbit around the Earth. About uh, 11 minutes away now from the Dragon's arrival at the capture point and a little less than 30 minutes away from its actual capture by uh, Station Commander Koichi Wakata using the Space Station's Canada Arm 2. Rick Mastracchio there reporting on what the crew is seeing in their window and at their displays, which they are, have been monitoring uh, as the Dragon approached the space station. Again, preparing to use the station's robotic arm to reach out and capture it on the grapple hold, which you can now see in this view, directly in the center of the screen. Commander Koichi Wakata slowly moving the robotic arm now into, uh, into place for the capture of the dragon. It's about four meters away or 13 feet from the uh, grapple fixture that it'll grab on hold, grab hold of uh, for the capture. Just one meter now left to go, about three feet for the uh, space station's Canada Arm 2 is able to grab hold of the SpaceX Dragon 3.
and the Canada Arm 2 with Commander Koichi Wakata at the controls now has the SpaceX 3 in its grip. Took place right on time at 6.14 a.m. Central while the station and Dragon were 260 miles above uh, the Nile River. To SpaceX Dragon 3 coverage, we're back for the berthing of the SpaceX Dragon to the Earth-facing port on the station's Harmony node. A little earlier than scheduled uh, because the team here on the ground that is controlling the movement of the uh, Dragon to the International Space Station is running a little ahead of schedule and uh, expect to see it actually berth to the station in uh, about 30 or 40 minutes. Once the Dragon is berthed to the space station, the crew uh, will continue making preparations for the actual opening of the Dragon, which won't take place until tomorrow. Continuing to see views here from the cameras on board the space station of uh, the Dragon held in place by the station's Canada Arm 2. The station and Dragon are 260 miles above the North Pacific Ocean. Just crossed over uh, Japan a few minutes ago and are heading southeast now. Though it's difficult to make out, the Dragon continuing on in its movement towards the Earth-facing port of the node to Harmony node on board the station, moving it into this initial alignment position brings it within about two feet of the hatch. You can see here the gap between the station and the Dragon capsule incrementally closing as the capsule moves into that initial alignment position. Once it's there, the team here on the ground will do some uh, verifications and make sure everything is still aligned correctly and ready to go before they push ahead. On the other side of the hatch, the uh, space station crew is ready to actually command the common berthing mechanism to bolt the Dragon into place once it is berthed to the Earth-facing port of the Harmony node. There are 16 bolts that will be driven to hold it securely in place. And flight engineer Rick Mastracchio is in charge of that activity. See him here at the robotic workstation inside the Destiny laboratory at the station. Team here on the ground is continuing to maneuver Dragon slowly into place on the port of the Harmony node of the space station. Station and uh, Dragon are currently 260 miles above the Southern Ocean, and as you can see, just about to reach sunrise for this orbit around the Earth and move into the daytime portion of this trip around. Houston Station on two, step three, just verifying stable attitude control config and confirm that the Russian sensors are disabled. And Swanee, that is confirmed. Go for four. Thank you. Once again, after uh, launching on Friday at 2.25 p.m. Central Time on board the Falcon 9, the SpaceX Dragon 3 has now arrived at the space station and is officially berthed to the Earth-facing port of the Harmony node. <laughs> 